There is currently a season of Big Brother featuring none other than recently fired White House aide Omarosa Manengolt Newman. And she recently made national headlines in the Big Brother house because she gave us some inside dirt about the Trump administration. And I think this is absolutely hilarious and um, she got the attention of Fox News. But let's get to what she said first of all. So basically, she said that every day she was haunted by Donald Trump's tweets and she tried to be that person to talk to him about it, but people around Donald Trump basically shut her out and they cut off her access to the president. Um, she also stated that she would never vote for Donald Trump again, not in a million years. She stated that if everybody really does want to impeach Donald Trump, well, Mike Pence is exponentially worse than Donald Trump because even though she said she's religious herself, Mike Pence literally thinks that he talks to Jesus. That's what she said. <laughs> you are really dumb. Now, she also stated that she wasn't fully aware of the effect that his divisive rhetoric was having on the country because really she was in the middle of a hurricane and she couldn't adequately gauge the public's perception of Donald Trump. She also said that she accepted the job out of the feeling that she had a duty to serve her country and she was loyal to Donald Trump to a fault to the extent that she actually lost numerous friendships as a direct result of her relationship with Donald Trump. And when a fellow house guest asked her just how bad is it, she said the situation is bad and yes, everyone should in fact be worried. So this was really entertaining to see her just shit talk Donald Trump. I actually do watch Big Brother. I've been watching it since I was like 10 years old. So the fact that there are, there's a celebrity edition that's actually relatively entertaining and the fact that Omarosa is on there. I mean, this is, this is, this is fascinating to me. So since she did make national news and actually got the attention of the White House Deputy Press Secretary, well, Fox News decided to talk about it because they saw this as an opportunity to defend Donald Trump. So this is what they said, and then I want to come back and discuss their hypothesis as to what her motives are in this situation. Omarosa Newman got her job as a presidential aide because, well, she had appeared several times on Donald Trump's show The Apprentice. And just weeks after she was ousted from her White House job, she returned to reality TV, dumping on her former boss on Celebrity Big Brother. Like, I was haunted by tweets every single day. Like, what is he going to tweet next? Does anybody say to him, what are you doing? I mean, I tried to be that person, and then all of the people around him attacked me. It was like, keep her away from Don't give her access. Don't let her talk to him. And it's like, and the block is there, Jared's there. Should we be worried? Joining us now from New York, Carly Shimkus, a reporter for Fox News 24-7 headlines on Sirius XM. So if you couldn't hear the whispering, she said she's haunted by Donald Trump's tweets, and she also said she wouldn't vote for Trump in a million years. What do you make of Omarosa going off like that? Well, it is truly a bizarre moment in history when you can turn on your TV and see a former White House staffer sitting in her PJs on a couch, bad-mouthing the President of the United States. But the reality here is really simple. She is trying to stay relevant, and she's, you know, also maybe seeking a little bit of revenge after getting fired. But what Omarosa Oh, you think? A little bit of revenge, yeah, you think? Yeah, just a little, uh, to put it lightly. Uh, but what she is forgetting is that it's an honor to serve under any president this country elects. So by bad-mouthing the President, she's not hurting his reputation. She's hurting her own. Well, here's how the White House handled it, Deputy White House Press Secretary Raj Shah. Omarosa was fired three times on The Apprentice, and uh, this was the fourth time we let her go. Um, she had limited contact with the president while here. Now, look, I get, I get that. Yeah, I, I think that's called distancing. We, we, we barely knew her. I, I get that she was frustrated in the White House. Nobody could quite figure out what she did there. And the thing is, though, that Donald Trump made her into a national figure. And is the concept of having any bit of loyalty just hopelessly outdated? Well, I think that the president hired a lot of people based off of loyalty. This one was obviously a big mistake and didn't necessarily take their resume into consideration, uh, meaning he picked the wrong people, which is why there was so much initial turnover among his staffers. Uh, but this seems to me like an isolated incident where she was let go, she was angry, and she's trying to get her uh, 15 minutes of fame once again 
and she has succeeded uh, right. on that front. Right, 15 seconds is more like it. And, you know, look, yeah. she gave a serious interview and said, here are my concerns about the White House. I'm okay with that, but whispering on the couch. Uh, apparently, the strain has gotten to her because the reports that she was hospitalized uh, during yes. or after the latest taping of Celebrity Big Brother, which I did not know was a thing or was on the air. All right. Oh, it's a thing. It's a, it's thing. a thing. It's big. It's huge. <laughs> it's even bigger now. Believe it or not, I don't actually disagree with 100% of what they said, even though it is clear that they're just trying to do damage control for President Donald Trump. So the um, the woman in the clip states she's trying to stay relevant and is also maybe seeking a little bit of revenge after getting fired. But what she is forgetting is that it's an honor to serve under any president this country elects. All right. So the question is, is that individual right? Yes and no. I think that she's correct to state that Maybe Omarosa is seeking revenge. Maybe she's being a little bit opportunistic by shit-talking the president in, you know, the Big Brother house. So, yeah, I get that. It's Omarosa. She's a reality TV show star. She knows how to play it up for the cameras. She's certainly playing a character in the house. I think all of them are playing characters in this house, really. I mean, I'm not suggesting that it's scripted, but I'm just saying that they kind of know what producers are looking for. They want these outspoken characters who are going to dish, who are going to draw in viewers and eyeballs to that television when the show comes on. So I think she knows what she's doing. But to suggest here, it's an honor to serve under any president this country ever elects. That's just dumb. Would you say the same thing about Nixon? Uh, they weren't saying really the same thing about President Barack Obama. Fox News, they would freak out every single time he'd do anything that was probably the most benign things presidents have ever done. So, for example, he was getting off a plane, he had a coffee in his hand, and he kind of did this half-assed salute to a troop. They freaked out. They lost their mind saying he was disrespecting troops. They lost it when he wore a tan suit. So, to suggest that they respect the executive office is complete horseshit. They're just doing damage control for Donald Trump. Now, there was another portion of that clip from Fox News that really was puzzling to me. So, the White House press secretary dismissed her comments saying Omarosa was fired three times on The Apprentice and this is the fourth time we let her go. So, the Fox News host didn't see anything wrong with that statement. They're literally citing the times that she was fired on a reality television show as reason why they were justified in firing her now at the White House. That's a reality TV show. That doesn't count. And it has no bearing in the real world. And in the event that somehow did count for some reason, it would be Donald Trump who looks foolish for repeatedly hiring someone who is incapable of satisfying the requirements of the job he hired her for. But... Fox host didn't even mention the absurdity of that comment. I mean, how could a White House deputy press secretary bring that up with a straight face and say, oh, well, we fired her on The Apprentice, a reality TV show? You're citing that as reason why you fired her on The White House? I mean, just say we fired her because she wasn't satisfying the requirements of the job. They cited The Apprentice. Ugh. That was incredibly cringeworthy and just embarrassing. Now, they also state apparently the strain has gotten to her because there was reports that she was hospitalized right after the latest taping of Celebrity Big Brother, which I did not know was a thing until now. So that actually did irritate me because they're trying to pretend as though they are above reality television and these intellectuals only watch just the smartest of philosophy debates and whatnot. No, you voted for a fucking reality TV show star as the president. Shut the fuck up. We all know you're watching Big Brother and Survivor along with the rest of us. And he also tried to paint Omarosa as mentally unstable in order to delegitimize the things she said about Donald Trump. But she didn't go to the hospital because she had a mental breakdown. She went to the hospital because during a competition on the show, she had an asthma attack. Was she trying to play it up for the cameras? Perhaps. But to suggest that She's mentally unstable and therefore we should disregard what she's saying. I mean, it just shows that they're brazenly trying to do propaganda and dismiss what she's saying because they're trying to do damage control for the president because, of course, Fox News is the propaganda wing of the Republican Party. It's what they do. So, of course, the minute they heard Omarosa talking smack about Donald Trump and Celebrity Big Brother, we knew that they would be right there to Donald Trump's rescue. But with that being said... Yes, I do believe Omarosa is not an innocent actor here. She's probably just on Celebrity Big Brother because she wants to restore her image. And when she talks about just how bad Donald Trump is and how she didn't know how bad he was when she took the job, I think she's just kind of playing dumb. I mean, she's a smart individual. She knows 
what Donald Trump's presidency would entail. She knew the consequences on the general public that his presidency would have, but she just put that, you know, maybe aside in her mind because she wanted power. And additionally to say that, oh, I just couldn't fathom how bad Donald Trump really would be. I mean, he's a tyrant. Okay, Omarosa, then you have to explain why you said this when he was first elected. Every critic, every detractor, will have to bow down to President Trump. 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 It's everyone who's ever doubted Donald, whoever disagreed, whoever challenged him. It is the ultimate revenge. Ultimate revenge, revenge, revenge. To become the most powerful man in the universe. The most the powerful, powerful man, man in the universe. Big way. <laughs> yeah, so when Omarosa plays the, oh, you know, I was just naive card, understand that it's just a card that she was playing. Um, because... I, I believe that as an intelligent woman, she knows exactly what she was getting when she chose to join Donald Trump's administration. And so now she could smack talk him all she wants, but that doesn't change the fact that she's also guilty. She served in this administration, and that's a reflection of her character. It's a permanent stain on her record. Now, with that being said, on Celebrity Big Brother, I think she is entertain me, uh, entertaining because, yes, <laughs> I do watch Celebrity Big Brother. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Again, I don't know if that's embarrassing to admit, but I do. It's it's my guilty pleasure. Um, I watch Big Brother in general. Um, but with that being said, we have to acknowledge that even though while Omarosa might be being opportunistic and attacking Donald Trump, I do think there is truth to what she's saying, but we also have to acknowledge that in defending Donald Trump and pointing out her opportunism, Fox News has an agenda as well. They want to do damage control for the president. So at the end of the day, I think that really it's important to realize Fox News' agenda and also take what Omarosa is saying, knowing that she's probably talking about these things and dishing on these details, which I think are true, because she wants attention and maybe to restore her public image since Donald Trump is a very unpopular president. So I look forward to seeing how the rest of the season plays out. I hope she dishes more so, even though I don't necessarily take everything she says as the truth. You know, I just I just like the fact that she's triggering Fox News and that to me is, is enough to tune in. Support this podcast by becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash humanist report.